so Nick is starting on the vent hood. So we're building one that has like a six inch, no, five and a half inch lip around the bottom. That's square. And then it's great. <laughs> Hold that thought. All right. And then I want a little bit of curvature going up Curve. instead of just straight I like a straight box I want it to have like a slight curve up and I would love for it to look kind of organic as far as the finish part of it I just don't know how we're gonna do that yet have you had any revelations <laughs> it's gonna be a process as we go <laughs> I I, <laughs> I feel sorry for him but I do too. he feels sorry for himself Hey, here, maybe I can prop it on this thing there. It's gonna be very custom. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, drywall is here. Still not being hung. But, I mean, after drywall gets put in place, that means they can start priming. And honestly, I mean, I could do bedrooms and stuff like that if I'd want. But I haven't quite figured out if I'm actually gonna do the bedrooms right away, we would get very echoey in here. Because I would kind of like to work on the rooms like one at a time as I go while we're living in it here. So I might, and also just to save some money on the painter, there's gonna be a painter doing the rest of like the area out here and stuff. I would give you a sneak peek of uh, our cabinets. Can't show you everything, but tell me if you are shocked or not shocked. I don't know if it's gonna translate the camera. This is just the boxes. This is not the doors. Those aren't here actually yet. So there's a sneak peek for you. There's also laundry room cabinets. I'm excited. gonna go into the granite place here we're gonna look at some of their slabs we were at Sarasota granite quartz quartz and granite I always get confused which is first anyway but they only had the little samples there and I want to see it in a big slab she said they sell it here so we're gonna go in and look we know what we could get as far as countertops we could get like for instance the same stuff that we have at the rental right now but I was hoping to maybe find something a little different I don't know so we were at the house this morning trying to clean up, get ready for drywall. They have like a winter Sprite cranberry. Oh. Mm. I just have a regular Sprite. We have mom babysitting the girls today, so we're trying to make the most of it. But this is probably just gonna be like a bunch of different things as we're working on stuff. It's been kind of a few weeks of very little happening and so supposedly tomorrow drywall is being installed so we're trying to get some stuff done before that happens I guess so let's go see what they have you like busy there you go it's a little bit much for me That would make a statement with our green cabinets. This isn't bad. It's not bad. On camera, it looks more pronounced than it actually is in person. I think I would want them to be maybe a tad. It, it's a little tan all over. So this is the one we came to look at, but it's all in a bundle somewhere, so we couldn't look at it. We may wait until we can see it. Oh, we just got over to the house and I am just flabbergasted. They were here maybe a half day yesterday and, and they're not here this morning. I was like, oh great, they probably didn't get anything done, the drywallers. Look at it. I, I think they literally got most of it done. 
Besides for the finishing part of it, then, obviously. What? Huh. I'm in shock. Normally I have iced coffee in the afternoon, but I decided not to. It has been a very long time, you guys. I feel like so much has happened in the last couple weeks that it kind of feels like a blur almost. Ever since we took a trip to Ohio, we were dealing with kids being sick. Harper has been teething nonstop. Then we had the a Wi-Fi go out at the house for a week. They cut the lines and that's why I didn't upload the one week, which in honest, in all honesty, it was actually good because I just, I needed a break and I didn't have a video ready anyway. So it gave me a good excuse, <laughs> kind of forced me. And then my car, which I'm hopefully getting back tonight, the transmission started going out on it. And so we've been without that for almost a week and a half now. And so last week I just felt kind of like stranded <laughs> uh, I could go do some things and we did do some things Nick and I did so I was at home a bit more and if I needed something badly enough I could take the golf cart and go like to Pinecraft or something which isn't that far last week was just kind of interesting in general I just I'm very very ready to have my car back <laughs> this morning I took Jackson in to the doctor to check out his leg. He had some bites on the one leg and I guess I didn't realize to what extent it was until last night. All of a sudden I was like, gracious, that looks bad. It looks like it might be getting infected. I was like, what are they? And he said something, I think I saw it on his knee the one time, but then kind of like forgot about it or something. I feel terrible. Like, am I the only mom who just doesn't maybe quite reach around? I don't. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not, but the doctor this morning, she laughed. She's like, she just has to laugh at moms with multiple kids because she was asking a few questions. I'm like, I don't know. Like, I feel terrible. I don't know what, when it happened. I, and she thinks it's mosquito bites because she's been seeing this so much in kids, especially here the last, I think she said since the hurricane, she said even her own kids have had bites and like, they'll like flare up and stuff. I think it could have come from maybe being at the ball field. Caden uh, and Jackson usually go along with Nick to the ball field when he plays softball Mondays and Friday nights. So I'm assuming maybe that's where he got him. But she's concerned that it doesn't develop into like impetigo, which I didn't, I don't know much about, but I think it comes from like bacteria. And then if, if you're picking at scabs, I saw a little like blister or sore type of thing here. I was like, what is that? She's like, yeah, it's, related she thinks uh and she doesn't want it to get worse but i think he picked at the scabs too which also made it worse and i didn't i didn't know that so anyway we're gonna treat him with some antibiotics for it and also some ointment she said because she's scared that it's gonna develop into something she even mentioned something like arthritis or something <sighs> i just feel like <laughs> if it's not one thing it's another and then we're dealing with our house stuff yet too so I thought I would fill you in on all of that. I feel like it looks like how in the world is it ever going to get done in time, but I have to be out of here by the second week of December. So probably the middle middle of the second week we'll be out of here because I'm going to need to clean this house, get it back to, you know, normal and stuff like that. So yeah, it time is ticking by. It it feels like ugh, I just want to get it over with now. Like I I just want to get in there and have it all done. <laughs> That's kind of where we're at with that. I want to actually show you guys some of the landscaping they did here around the rental, just a little bit. 
They did the landscaping here the other week and I think it looks so much better than it did. It was all kind of like grown up. You couldn't even see in very well, especially like here this side. A landscaper from church, Ken Byler, did the landscaping for them. He put a fence up just on Saturday to kind of block this stuff. So it's not all cleaned up yet, but he put that there to kind of block that from the road. But then back here looks really nice. And here's the pool. They did have issues with this as well. They had to drain it almost completely after it was filled up and we were using it because there was a some sinking going on there and a crack had formed down the side wall of the pool. So they ended up having to like drain it and fix it. But they did it in a, I think maybe a week's time or so. The boys have been using it some, but Caden had a really bad swimmer's ear and he has kind of been not swimming as much because of that. Also, it's the water's not heated and it's like under, what is it? I, I'm gonna say it's probably 78 or 79 degrees the water is and so it's not warm at all. And Caden will go in, but uh, he's being a little cautious with, with the swimmer's ear thing. And then Jackson, um, he's not one to go in cold water unless there's a lot of kids around or something, so. Anyway, but yeah, it's really, really nice. Here's some more in the back area. They just really kind of cleared it out and it looks nice. And I'm sure they're gonna be getting some chairs and everything to put back here, but. There's so pretty like sunrises here at our new house. I'm actually afraid we're barely gonna be able to see. We may be able to see the sunsets in the evening, like out the front of the house, but I'm probably not gonna be able to see any sunrises anymore. And I'm so sad because I love coming out in the mornings. We're kind of boxed in by some kind of wooded stuff. And it's kind of like a really small backyard, small and I and everything. So there are things that I'm really gonna miss um, that I won't have at the new place. But you can't win it all, can you? How about you tell them how you are? Can you say hi? Hi. Oh, don't grab my leaves. Oh, oh no. Oh no, you just ripped it off. Can you show them your tooth? Can you show them? No? There, maybe you got a glimpse. I think her second one might be coming through, hopefully, <laughs> soon. She's starting to eat some food. Uh, not maybe a ton, but I'm trying, you know, as much as I can. Maybe more like the baby led weaning style stuff where I just like kind of give her what we have. She does a pretty good job of sitting. Uh, she'll topple over. I kind of have to watch her a little bit yet, but the last maybe two or so weeks, she's made big strides for sure. Uh, she's definitely become very active and noisy. <laughs> um, we're trying to deal with her eczema. I know it might not show up on camera, but she's been dealing with it some, and so we're trying a few different things. Uh, I'm trying like a goat's milk formula again. I'm gonna give it a longer try than I did the other time, but she said it could be like a dairy allergen or something, I don't know. We're kind of trying to feel it out, keep it hydrated and stuff like that. Where did my little baby go? Guys, sometimes I can't handle it. She's just like attacking it. Oh. You patty cake, patty cake. That's what she always does when you say patty cake, usually. She goes, she'll slap her hands down. So I'm assuming she knows what it means. Yeah, good job. Is that better? Okay, so I'm gonna start dinner prep. It's actually, it's not even two o'clock yet, but I wanna do a slow cook on my pork. So I also wanted to mention that Walnut Creek Foods is sponsoring today's video. So I'm very grateful for that. They have been, such a huge blessing in our lives and I have really enjoyed working with them over the last couple of years and I enjoy sharing them with you guys. Uh, I will show you the product just a minute. I just wanted to grab a few things so you know what the label looks like if you're not familiar with them. It has a little buggy on it. They are based in Holmes County uh, and I've shown them so many times already and they make a lot of food products themselves, canned goods. They sell a lot of deli meats, cheeses. So they ship a lot of stuff out to 
bulk food stores, maybe smaller delis, grocery stores, um, Detweilers, for instance, down here in Sarasota is one carrier. There's also a few other places that sell their products, but they uh, ship them to you know those types of stores, and then you're able to buy them in those stores, maybe in smaller communities, maybe Amish or Mennonite style communities is more typical where you would find the products, but you can also shop for their stuff online at longcreekcheese.com. They have a wide variety of things there. And I was actually thinking of placing an order there myself. I didn't actually get around to it before the video here, but uh, they ship usually in a couple days. Uh, that was my experience anyway. And they have like noodles, they have so many different products. And touring the factory up there was so interesting just being able to see what they do. They have a lot of baked goods, things like that. So if you're ever in Holmes County, make sure you stop there. I always tell people if you go, if you're visiting, stop at Walnut Creek Cheese and check out their store. They have two locations up there and it's a brand that I fully stand behind and I actually grew up using them. And so the, these are the types of things that I love talking to you guys about. Um, it start, started out as just a little small company and it's now grown into something just, yeah not worldwide known maybe but us wide known and they just have really good products so i will link all that in the description box for you if you want to check them out i'm going to be using probably a few of their stuff in tonight's meal but first of all i'm going to be doing this this is a really easy meal if you've never tried these um pre-marinated pork loin fillets please do. This is, I think, mesquite barbecue, so I don't feel like we've had this kind as often. It's so easy, and you just so slow cook it. I think usually I do it on the grill. I don't know that I'm going to do it today on the smoker, but you can just cook it like low and slow, like 200 or something. So I'm going to do that, and then I think I'm also going to do some type of potatoes. <laughs> I'm determined to uh, have this one not be a picky eater. <laughs> I'm giving her a little bit of guacamole. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do too much, it's pretty salty. Should we just try regular avocado? I don't know if I want to waste it right now. Mm -hmm. So I've noticed she is a lot better with like actual food versus something like say yogurt or applesauce where it just kind of wants to like come back out. She still, she cracks me up. She does this like spitting thing. Oh, oh do we need to clean your mouth? Mmm, it's good. Here, you wanna hold it? You wanna hold it? Lick it? Okay, so it got done a lot quicker than what I was expecting. So it's only like 327. It's actually over the 145 that they recommend. It's like way over. So I hope it'll be okay. I'm gonna cover it with foil and just let it sit now for a while. And I think that'll add more moisture and stuff too, but I haven't even started the potatoes, so I need to get on that. I forgot I had sweet potatoes. And I thought for a while I wasn't gonna be able to do those because of the temperature that my oven was at for the pork, but since that's done, I'm gonna do sweet potatoes. So I may have to put some regular potatoes into, I'm probably gonna do some pumpkin bars and stir those up in the meantime. She wanted to say hi. She just woke up from her nap. What are you eating? Do you know what it is? Bar. It's kind of like a fig bar, but it's a little different. It's blueberry flavored, right? Mm -hmm. Like a cereal bar. Mm-hmm. Did you sleep good? Yeah, good. Can see me use uh, my green pans and like this one for instance they're from caraway and they're running a 
up to 20% off sale on their site. And I will have a link in the description box for you. Uh, it will give you the automatic discount through my link. I'm an affiliate with them. Um, they're doing like a holiday promo. They don't run these very often. So if you're wanting good cookware, it's um, non-stick. They say it's non-toxic. It's this stuff. And I cook with these every day, pretty much. I have, there's like, they have like a set. So like a, a saucepan, a big frying pan, a smaller saute pan, and a Dutch oven. But then it, I bought like a second saucepan and they also have bakeware, I have muffin tins. Uh, they had sent me a bunch of stuff, but I actually purchased some for my sister, Kara, when she got married. So I honestly can say I love it, and I've used it for well over a year now. Uh, and to me, the nonstick, I think it has to do with maybe how high your heat is like on the stove. Sometimes it'll stick, sometimes it doesn't. I think that might have something to do with, but I've really never found anything that is truly 100% non-stick. But I feel like it does a really good job most of the time. And I even just use like Magic Erase to clean it. Uh, if you just need to be careful with it, in other words. Don't use metal stuff on it. Try to use silicone and you know things like that that won't scratch the surface if you take care of it it'll hold up well. It's an investment, I understand that. So if you're wanting something new, I thought I would just quickly well, insert that here. It's yummy. Yeah. Uh, if you're looking for something. So through the end of November, November 29th, I think, they're running this sale. So thought I would put that in here. But I'm making pumpkin cream cheese squares, or I guess kind of like, it's probably like a cake. I might actually end up putting a frosting on it's it. Yeah. It's not a cake. It's not a cake? What is it? Cake. It's a cake. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's not a cake, but it's a cake. So I'll put the recipe in the description box. I can do it on my own self. You can do it your own self. Yeah. Well, okay. I think I need to stir it so that the lumps go away. Let me do it. I have to do it really fast because see there's lumps in there. I don't want that in there to dump it right here, right there. No, it's not a birthday cake. This is kind of like bars. Bars? Mm hmm We need to beat a bar. So I just got some disappointing news. I thought I was gonna get my Suburban back tonight, but alas, <laughs> might go another two days. So I'm kind of bummed about that, but guess it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so this is not glamorous, but I've got my stuff sitting here. These are always so hot for such a long time, so I'm letting them cool off. I got just a regular baked potato for Oakland, and if one of the boys want those rather than the sweet potatoes, that's fine. Um, and here's the pork. I'm afraid it's gonna be really dry because it got done way too quickly. And the cake, which I'm gonna let cool, and then I'll put the frosting on top. And this is just peas and carrots. I'm gonna put this stuff in from Walnut Creek Cheese. I love it. Uh, they have different types of seasonings in the Weaver's Dutch Country seasonings, but the farm dust seasoning is really good. It's like a garlic blend. So I'm gonna put this on here, maybe a little pepper. So when we do baked potatoes, we usually put sour cream and shredded cheese on top. Ooh, I really like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're really hammering down on that. And she hammered good mm -hmm. portion of a sandwich today. Wow. Good job, Oe. You're killing the potatoes. <laughs> How's the pork? Was it pretty dry? Um, it was good. It was a little drier than you normally have it, but it was good. Yeah, I it went too fast. <laughs> His poor leg. Are you driving your bike? Yes. He's finally driving it more. Remember, I got it at a thrift store. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, there's going to be some more house updates soon. Nick was giving me the rundown of what Chip is scheduling. So. I mean, it looks like stuff should be on track. It, it's just at the end, I know there's gonna be some things that are not done when we move in. So 
yeah, it is what it is. I know that week is gonna be chaotic because we're gonna be having to move this stuff out, which it is mostly personal belongings and just a few other things. So it's not like terrible. We have a bunch of stuff at the storage unit so we can kind of move in as we want, in other words. Like we don't have to move it all in one day. But I do need to allow myself time to clean this house and kind of put it back together. So yeah, we're, we're looking at that week. So y'all can pray for us in the next couple weeks. Uh, I am ready to have it over with, I tell you what. But in any case, thank you for watching again today. And I will do my best with videos. I will, yeah, try to keep it on schedule. Someone is yelling for me, so I better go. <laughs> Make sure to check out Walnut Creek Foods in the description box and check out all that. Order stuff, use my code Lynette uh, for 10% off your online order. So thank you guys so much. I will see you next time. Bye.